All right, long time no vlog. I think it's been over a month since I vlogged, but honestly, I was such a boring bitch in Michigan. I was like, I literally have nothing to say. Like, <laughs> so I didn't want to post like a shitty vlog of me doing the same thing, which was nothing every single day. And like, I really didn't have any products to talk about at home because I didn't bring a lot home with me. So basically the products that I had already talked about, I you know, those were the only products I brought home. So I am at Costco right now. I need to go in and get some new contacts, which I just hate spending money on that shit. That is just stuff that I'm like, is obviously necessary because I need it to see, but it's just money that you're like, God, this sucks. Yeah. So I came back on St. Patrick's day to Seattle and I started work probably started it a little bit too soon on my ankle but the first week and a half or so were a little bit rough like I was swelling like crazy but now I'm like doing fine so I spent my doctor wanted me to spend four weeks in the boot which was like I think I hit that like a week and a half ago or something and then he's like slowly start transitioning into a tennis shoe so I've been doing that I've been walking just in a like without my walking boot um, in my apartment, I'm not quite ready for the streets yet. I need a little bit more practice, but we're getting there. So I've been wearing my boot at work just because, you know, I'm like fast in it and I, the protection is nice for now, but I'll wean myself out soon. It's just weird when you go from spending like eight weeks in a hard cast and then you get put in this walking boot. So like that was an adjustment. It took me like two weeks to even walk in the walking boot without crutches because obviously like the muscle in your leg and your um, quad and everything just like, you know, has gotten really small because it hasn't had to do any work in eight weeks. And then now that I'm, now that I've I'm going from the boot to the shoe like I'm so used to the protection that the boot the boot gives me that it feels so foreign in a shoe like I feel like I should have like an ankle wrap on or something but whatever we'll get there also my hair is driving me crazy so when I was home I think I vlogged about it um, my friend Nicole put just some like highlights in my hair just because it had been since middle of November so I in March the girl I go to out here I got on her like booking and her first available appointment was April 25th and I'm like oh my god that's like seven weeks from now <laughs> so I don't know I'm just like to the point where I like look at these roots they're crazy I like can't believe that's like my real root um so I'm getting my hair done on April 25th and I just, I don't know, I feel like it's like some of this yellow in it just like needs to be next. Like, but I mean, besides those highlights, I really haven't had my hair done since middle of November, which is crazy. So what else happened? Oh my God. Okay. So I, yeah, look at self tanner problems right here. <laughs> um, I actually self tanned last night to make myself look blonder you guys aren't aware but I did like a month and a half without wearing self tanner and I like liked it for a while but now I like I'm like I need my hair to look a little bit blonder so I was like I'm self tanning so I self tanned last night but anyways so the week that I got back to Seattle I was sitting in my apartment and it was like a Friday night at like 8 p.m. and all of a sudden I like heard a pop didn't think anything of it and I live like pretty high up in my building. Um, so, and like, I l live in the middle of the city. There's always just like random noises happening. You know what I mean? So I didn't think anything of it. And then I got up and like, I live up, I live pretty high. So if I want to see the street, I like literally have to get up in my window and look down. And I don't know what possessed me to look down, but I got up and I went and I looked down, I got up to go to the bathroom and I went and I looked down on the street and there was like no traffic going down my street. And I'm like, okay, this is weird. And then I looked over and there were six cop cars in a circle around this body um, that was under like, like it was, you know, they had put a tarp, a yellow tarp over it. 
and I was like, oh, I was like, that's a dead body. Like, what the hell? So in my mind, I'm thinking like somebody got shot. Like maybe that was the pop noise I heard. I didn't really know what was happening. I got on Twitter and I, you know, people are very like fast on Twitter, like tweeting about things. So I searched my street and intersection and some girl was like, oh, does anybody know what happened? I walked by and I was like, oh, I said I live in that building. I I was like, I don't know what happened. And the girl goes, oh my God. She's like, it was literally the most graphic thing I've ever seen. I had to get the fuck out of there. And it was weird because the body was like in the second lane. And I'm like, okay, well, who gets shot in the middle of the street? Like, that's kind of weird, you know? But maybe they got shot on the sidewalk and they ran into the street. And I don't even live in like a bad neighborhood, but you know, shit can happen anywhere. So all of a sudden I see like the cop van pull up and it was like an episode of CSI. So they got the gurney out and then they like took the yellow tarp off the person and they held up these white sheets and then the like crime scene photographer like took a bunch of pictures and then they put the body on the gurney and then put it in the back of the van. So it was like driving me crazy like oh my god I don't know what happened and um... Then probably four days later, I got in the elevator with my one of my maintenance mans, and I go, so I said about that dead body, and he goes, oh, yeah, and I was like, what happened? I was like, I heard a pop, but I didn't really think anybody got shot, and he goes, oh, he goes, somebody jumped off of our roof. I'm like, what? Like, that is crazy. My roof is 25 stories up. Like, that's just holy shit, you know? So he told me, he's like, we don't think it's a resident, but we don't know who it is yet. And we're supposed to have a meeting on it today. So I was just like in such shock. I mean, I can't imagine being so depressed that you jump off of 25 floors. I mean, that's not jumping off five floors, which you could probably potentially live. Just you'd be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. But 25 floors is not messing around. Like that's crazy. So then when he told me that, I was like, oh, so that pop noise I heard was probably his body, his or her body hitting the ground. Oh my God. I, that's just crazy. So yeah, that's that. And I just like my building is secure. I mean, you could probably walk in be behind someone and my rooftop is like very nice. Like there's chairs and grills and everything up there, but yeah, it's just so strange and I also I know this is like very graphic of me but like when you make up your mind that you're gonna commit suicide I just wonder do you go up there and like contemplate it or do you literally just like go up and jump I don't know what possessed me to want to know that but I'm just like a naturally curious person so yeah super sad I got my contacts. Well, I didn't physically get them, but I ordered them. Apparently, it's going to take a week. Um, I have an astigmatism in both eyes, so I don't think they, like, carry them in store. So that kind of sucks. I wish I would have just ordered them on 1-800-CONTACTS, but she was like, how many boxes? And I told her, and then she was like, oh, $87. And I'm like, well, shit, now it's too late to order from 1-800-CONTACTS. So now I'm in the Target parking garage. This is my list. You are all my witnesses. Let's see if I can stick to it. I doubt it. I need garbage bags, toweling, toilet paper, sponges, snacks. I've been craving Cheez-Its lately. Um, I need some pop and I need some of those like icy carbonated waters. I actually haven't been drinking a lot of pop lately. I'm back on, I'm working night shift right now. So I work 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So like I need to have like a diet Pepsi or a diet Coke at like midnight so I can stay awake the rest of the night. Um, but really I haven't been drinking that much pop. So yay for me because I mean, I can drink like two, three cans a day if I allowed myself to. All right. So here's what I got at Target. I got just some paper towel. I got aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is so expensive. I was like, what the hell? Um, I just got some food storage because I have some Tupperware containers in my refrigerator that 
I just don't want to clean. I think I'm just going to throw them away. <laughs> That's how I roll. I got some sandwich bags. Um, I love these. These are the Starbucks iced coffee, unsweetened. It's just black coffee. Uh, I got some ices, which are like my favorite. Um, I got some Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi. I love these too. This is one of my favorite flavors. It's the Vitamin Water Zero. Squeeze Lemonade. Some shaving cream, because I ran out of that. Um, medium trash bags, which garbage bags are ridiculous too. Um, this is like one of my little guilty pleasures. I haven't had it in forever, but I picked it up. Just um, it's an Easy Mac. I don't know why I love it. I think because it reminds me of college. Um, I got just a little Lean Cuisine pizza because I love these. And it's like, hello, portion control. Don't get me started on the sodium. I don't care. Um, I got some Triscuits, rosemary and olive oil. If you haven't had these, these are so good. And I have some Havarti cheese in my refrigerator, so that's gonna be a little snack for me. I got some Cheez-Its, which I was craving, and then just some Fruit Loops, and then obviously toilet paper. So, yeah, that's my haul. I only spent $57, which I feel like is pretty good because the downtown Target is like more expensive than other Targets because, you know, the convenience factor. I just made my coffee and I'm going to curl my hair. I have an exciting day that I'll tell you about um, after I get myself put together. But I'm just gonna use my bed head, like the curly pop, and then my Moroccan oil luminous hairspray, which I'm really liking. It's like very lightweight, and I'm like the type of person that I absolutely hate hairspray, but this kind of feels like you don't have anything in your hair. But it makes your curls stay nice. And then the Orbe, I never can say that, Aprace, Aprace Beach Wave and Shine Spray. My can is almost out. It is a $50 product. I love it. Um, I want to repurchase it. I just, it's just like $50 for that. It's just ridiculous. Um, I have had that can for quite a while, but I kind of conservatively use it. So, you know. Um, but I do recommend it if you want to blow $50 go for it. Otherwise, I like to use the Moroccan oil um, Dry texture spray that works really well, too, but this Spray right here um, Like it does not make your curls crunchy. It's amazing and it smells amazing. So totally recommend it and then yeah, my coffee is just a Starbucks uh, like you can get it at Target. It's just the unsweetened black coffee in the bottle with just some soy creamer from Trader Joe's. So yeah, let's get ready. So I finished curling my hair and it's just like very beachy. Um, I used the bedhead wand that I showed you. Honestly, I don't know how many inches it is, probably because women's sense of measurement is just so skewed from men lying to us over the years, but I would say it's like an inch and a quarter. Maybe just an inch. I don't know. If I find it, I'll link it below. But it's like literally what I learned to, I like learned to curl my hair on that thing. Like I didn't know how to curl my hair up until like four years ago. I still don't know how to curl my hair with like an actual curling iron with a clip. Just like freaks me out. I feel like my hair is going to get like stuck in it and fall out. So yeah. Um, if I find it, I'll link it below. But it's just, I got it at Ulta. So I don't know. Maybe they discontinued them, but I feel like probably not, you know? I am getting another coffee because I feel like I need one and I'm also getting a cake pop because I'm going to a terrarium and wine tasting class and I don't know if they're gonna have food. I would assume that they're probably gonna have some snacks, but yeah, I feel like I need just like a little bit of something on my stomach. So yeah, um, I am going to Woodenville with my friend Marjorie and we are doing a wine tasting and terrarium making class. I saw it online. And I was like, oh my God, like I've been wanting to make a terrarium. And it's like, what's, what a better way to make one than wine tasting and, um, you know, putting together a little terrarium. So it's in Woodenville, which is like 30 minutes outside of Seattle. And it's like a, like a kind of like a wine area, if that makes sense. Like there's like a lot of, um, cellars and stuff there. So yeah, we're headed to do that. Basically, it was $45, and they provide all the terrarium supplies, and then you get a glass of wine, and then you also have, like, a wine tasting. So, super excited about it. Um, 
Yeah, like every time I go to World Market, I always see like the perfect like glass jars to make a terrarium. And then, I don't know, I just have never bought it because I feel like honestly, it's $45 for this class. And if I went out and bought all my own supplies, I would probably like overbuy and spend, you know, like $100 for a fucking terrarium. So <laughs> I'm like, this is perfect. They have all the supplies for us. So uh, my drink, I've been in this, okay, I came to the Starbucks yesterday, it's a drive through and I sat in this line for like 10 minutes, and today it's the same thing, so I better be getting my drink for free. I did not get it for free yesterday, but I'm sorry, two days in a row, that's ridiculous, so I don't know what they're doing, like milking the cow for cream, like who the fuck knows. Oh, yeah. I was like, I thought I saw dinosaur. No, I think we're going to. Oh, I want a dinosaur. Yeah. I feel like I need like a T Rex. Ooh, I like the green one. What? Okay, I don't know my dinosaurs anymore. What is this? I just lost Jurassic Park. That's an herbivore. Stegosaurus is the one. I used to know my dinos, but bronchiosaurus. Um, What's this one? This is like starts with a T, doesn't it? Raptor. This is a bronchiosaurus. Like, is this T? This is T Rex. Look how short his arms are. Right? I think that looks like a raptor. <laughs> Oh, I want this, this one. Is, this is the T Rex. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like this guy. What is this? This kind of looks like a. Velociraptor. Yeah, but he looks like a. Um, <laughs> it looks like a kangaroo. 